Hi, today we are going to look at how to use the lab DC power supply. This specific model has three channels. Channel 1 and 2 can be adjusted and channel 3 is fixed at 5 volts. You can see that these knobs, these output ports and this part of the display is associated with channel 1. These are associated with channel 2 and these last two output ports are associated with channel 3 which is the fixed 5 volt output supply. Before connecting anything to the power supply, I'm going to switch it on. This, however, does not mean that we are supplying power to whatever we connect to it. This is where the output switch comes in. If the switch is off and you can see the LED is off, it means that we are not supplying power to our circuit. This feature allows us to adjust the voltage and current limiter of the supply without the output being live. Always double check that your voltage and current is correct and that your leads are connected correctly before switching on the output. Now, this supply is only a voltage source. This can be confusing since we have knobs that can adjust both voltage and current. The voltage knob does exactly what you think it should do. It adjusts the output voltage of the supply. The current knob, on the other hand, adjusts the current limiter. This is the maximum amount of current that can be output by this supply. The purpose of this feature is to protect our circuit from damage caused by short circuits. Now, for a short example, I'm going to go back to our small LED circuit of the breadboard video. I'm going to use channel 1, which is on this side of the power supply. First up, I need to connect my leads. The red lead, I'm going to plug into the positive terminal and the black lead into the negative terminal. Of course, it doesn't matter what color we use, but in order to avoid confusion, we like to use this convention. Red being the positive wire and black being the ground. Please note that we connect the black lead into the minus terminal and not the ground terminal. So, now that we have connected our supply leads to the power supply, we can connect them to the circuit as well. We also need to adjust the voltage. So, I'm adjusting the voltage knob to get the voltage up to 9 volts, which is what we are looking for. I'm also going to adjust the current limiter to 200 milliamps, or roundabout. This will show up as 0 0.2 on the current display. After I've double checked that everything is connected correctly, I can turn on the output. We can see our LED goes on. When switched on, the current display shows approximately how much current is being drawn by the circuit. Next up, I'm going to show you what will happen if a short circuit were to occur by touching the two leads together. You should be able to hear the clicking of the relays inside and see the voltage drop to zero, indicating a short circuit. This then concludes our video on the DC power supply. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask a Demi or one of the lecturers. Thank you.